and welcome back to Digimon Cre Partner Series. I think, it was the, I think that's what I called it, the Digimon Partner Series. Yeah, I was supposed to say Creation, but that's other series. And this one comes to us from Stephen Quinn, who asked the question, what is King Piccolo's Digimon Partner? This was kind of a unique scenario, because as I've said in the past with this series, a Digimon Partner doesn't necessarily have to match your personality. It has to, at minimum, complement you in some way. We look at Gomamon and Joe are, I think, the biggest example of this. Joe is obviously, he has the crest of reliability. He's very responsible, but he's also a bit neurotic, uptight. He's a bit of a worry war. Well, Gomamon is someone who's a lot more cheerful, outgoing, and therefore is able to help him come out of his shell while he is able to instill in Gomamon a sense of more mature um, uh, reasoning. And so that's where I'm like, okay, that's great. And then I'm like, okay, is is there a scenario where we've had an evil character with a Digimon partner? And uh, and I'm like thinking, well, what about Ken when he was the Digimon Emperor? He had Wormamon, that was his, Wormamon, Wormamon, that was his Digimon partner. But I stopped and realized, no, that's that doesn't work the same because he was his Digimon partner prior to being the uh, Digimon Emperor. Ken ultimately was turned to Digimon Emperor and then came back to life because he's got the crest of, he represents the crest of kindness. So, or at least uh, the Digi crest, uh, mantle, egg, whatever you want to call it, of kindness. And so that doesn't really work. So I don't think we've ever really had a character in the series, to the best of my knowledge, correct me wrong, I didn't watch the new one. I kind of want to. I, I've seen bits and pieces and I love Digimon, so... But I can't think of a character who's a who is a who is a digi destin or a tamer, whatever you want to call it, who was inherently evil with a partner. So this posed a very unique scenario. Do we have someone who's trying to steer him in the right way, or someone who's just going to com continue to um, uh, stroke his ego and go with his plans? For me, the latter is a lot more fun. So what Digimon? Ooh, not that one. Uh, this one, it, oh, go away. Um, so, so the first uh, one I realized right away I kind of wanted was, oh, come on, you little mother, uh, is Demi Vimon. Demi Vimon made a lot of sense. It's a virus type Digimon. It's basically a little evil. It's, it's ultimately what De uh, Devimon try came from. <clears throat> In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Demi Vimon supposed to actually be Demi uh, reincarnated back into the Digimon cycle after he was defeated, and now he works under my Otis Mon? <laughs> uh, is that the case? I could be dead wrong on that. Or is my Otis Mon Demi Mon returned, but Digivolt into my Otis Mon? Well, that we know for a fact isn't the case, because he, he actually stole a lot of the crests prior and so forth and so on before that. So he was around before even Debimon. Or at least he was around the same time as Debimon. But Demi Vimon, that could be him. But beyond that, we know he can digivolve into much more powerful, much more commanding forms. At the same time, though, Demi Vimon is a little shit. <laughs> He's the minion. And he loves being the minion. Uh, he loves helping out his evil master. So, yeah, I think that actually does work well into King Piccolo's favor, someone who's got the potential to aid him, but also won't just shut up and do what he's told. But if, should he succeed in reaching his champion form? Well, now you have the obvious Devimon. This is a no-brainer, I think. He's a lot more competent, far more evil. He really kind of works well with King Piccolo, I think, as a partner in that context. Power-wise, I should note that most Digimon, even at ultimate level, don't even come close to, say, low dragon high Dragon Ball levels of power because Roshi in Dragon Ball could destroy a moon. Most Ultimates don't have that power. War Greymon is documented without having the power of a nuclear warhead. Look, I've, ne I've never done the math or thought about could a nuke blow up the moon. I guess in theory, given the size of the moon and the biggest yield, if we threw a czar or something up there, maybe. Okay, hypothetically, let's say... Um, some ultimates are at minimum moon busters, and some are probably. Uh, I'm using just War Greymon as an overall example because that's a documented level of power he has. 
Uh, but the point is that once, unless you get into some mega level Digimon, you're most likely not getting into Dragon Ball Z levels of power. And even then, most Dragon Ball Z levels of power supersede the about 95% of all Digimon and about ooh, good 90% of Megas. Only a couple of Megas really have a power that affects not just a pl uh, things on a planetary scale, but on a like reality warping scale or a universal scale, at least by digital world standards. So, yeah. Anyway, I say all that just to note that just because uh, King Piccolo's got a uh, Digimon partner here doesn't mean they're necessarily going to be as powerful as him. Uh, or um, that he, uh, that they're going to be weaker than him either. It's just the way it goes. In fact, I could theoretically see King Piccolo bitch smacking his partner around if he ever needs to keep him in line to be sure don't get any ideas. So after Debimon, where did I want to go from here? I didn't want to just go straight Myotismon. I don't see, because Myotismon for me just didn't really fit. Just from a design standpoint alone, going from Cool Devil, which he's a sl supposed to be a, a demon lord Piccolo, but he's a slug alien. Uh, but still, I, it got to a, a suave vampire. I I didn't like that concept. So I'm like, okay, let's stick with the devil theme. And I'm like, okay, what are other Digivolution lines he has? And from the newest series, we are actually given Neo Devil Devimon. Neo Devimon is pretty cool. Uh, he definitely looks like a Digivolution of Devimon as opposed to Myotismon. Uh, he's still got those somewhat frayed wings, the very long arms and claws, but now he looks more muscular. He looks a bit less demon. He looks more demonish than devilish. Although the Red Wings definitely kind of lend itself to the devil look just a little bit. Uh, and apparently he's extremely powerful. Where's the mask to keep his power restrained? I had no real reason for this one other than I wanted to do something other than Myotismon. And the fact that, again, Myotismon didn't really work, A, from a personality standpoint, or B, from a design standpoint. Although, to be fair, as I think I said at the beginning of the series personality is no single Digimon it represents the personality of the entire species so you could theoretically have a Debbie you could have a Myotismon who's a saint and wants to help everyone theoretically but uh, regardless I like Neo Debimon better and for those of you who don't worry that's that's a better look at Neo Debimon got the cool he's got this cool uh, you know <laughs> gimp style uh, leather pants with belts He's got these cool, he got much cooler looking claws, still the long arms. Now they're covered in, um, I mean, they were covered in bandages, more spikes. I know he's just a good looking design. I like that design. But that leads us into the Mega now. The, the Mega 4 Neo Demimon is Daemon in his, uh, I believe it's Mantle Mode. And then Daemon beyond that. Basically one of the seven de uh, Demon Lord Digimon. And. I don't know. Something about that didn't quite work with me. It's not, it has really nothing to do with the level of power. It has to do with like just design cons. Like, I don't. I didn't love that idea. We've been leaning so heavy into the demon aspects of Piccolo, the cruelty of him. I'm like, oh yeah, is there anything else we can do? And luckily, I saw one thing that we can use in the same line technically that I think is a different changeup. Now. Or a different option, but still works. Now, Daemon actually has a slide evolution. He can actually slide into a different mod entirely. And that is whoop, Shadow Seraphimon. Now, normal Seraphimon obviously is a holy knight, a holy angel Digimon. Obviously, Seraphim, he's I think he's the strongest of the three. And he he's he's quite powerful indeed. Shadow Seraphimon is the dark half of that. Uh, a corrupt version, if you will. And I liked it because it kind of represents King Piccolo in terms of who he commit was partly before he split. The fact that he split for Kami, the good part of him who wanted to do good and is known as Kami, a.k.a. God, the, so, uh, indicates that, may, that despite the fact he is the evil half of, Piccolo, of uh, Kami, we know because Piccolo Jr. was born from King... Uh, King Piccolo and started off uh, his career as a, the main villain of the last arc that these characters can reform ultimately even if they are actually evil true evil so 
I liked it in concept because this kind of represents what little bit of good could still be in there. Granted, it's Shadow Serafimon, which means he's not actually a good individual by any stretch of the means. Um, one second. Let me get the actual description of Shadow Serafimon. Uh, is an, uh, Shadow Serafimon is another evil form of Serafimon who's concealed inner resentment uh, to menify? What the frick is that word? Um, not a word I'm familiar with. It engulfed it in darkness. Uh, it's ten shining gold wings have become st steeped in dark belt-like purple, and its silver armor has transformed ominous. Uh, is said to it will fall to a uh, it will fall to a daemon if this condition persists for long. Other versions of Shadow Seraphimon are or was formed uh, from Mercurymon and Seraphimon seized data and possessed Mercurymon's tactics. Point being is that this Seraphimon ultimately could turn back turn into daemon given enough time, or you can just have one through other means. Either way, I think I liked it being that is an evil mon that still represented some nature of good before it turned. And I think that's the best way to put it, because as we know, King Piccolo and Kami used to be one being, and so he had both good and negative in him until he split. And so this is the Digimon line I have picked out for uh, King Piccolo. We again have Demi Devimon, we have Devimon. We have Neo Devimon right up here, and we have uh, right there, and we have Shadow Seraphimon. So this is the Digimon line I have for his partner. Let me know in the comments below if you like this idea, or if you would do something different for his line. Let me know in the comments below. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.